Hi, I'm Jonathan Shine with National Real Estate Investor, and we're at the National Net Lease Investment Conference in Chicago. And we're sitting with Mike Mallon, President and Principal of Mallon & Associates, who just participated in our retail panel. Mike, welcome. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the first question is, what are the first takeaways you got from the retail panel with your panelists? Well, the, the one thing that, uh, that, that I constantly heard, of, heard from them is that retail is changing. You know, and that's one of the things that we're seeing an awful lot out there today is that a lot of the players in the past that, uh, you know, were, were anchors in shopping centers or were, uh, you know, folks that invested in, that those are changing. And I think that's fairly common in terms of the retail industry because, you know, kind of what comes around goes around. And so you're seeing in particular a lot of the old traditional grocery store chains, they're, they're struggling and, they're, and uh, a lot of newer retail players, particularly on the grocery store side, are starting to come in. So when you, when you say traditional, are, are you talking about just food and drug and pharmacy, or are you talking about other aspects of the retail market? Well, I, t I tend to focus mostly in on grocery stores. Okay. But uh, I think that the same thing can be said about the retail industry. And certainly the economy over the last couple of years has really played a little bit of havoc in terms of a lot of our retail players out there. A lot of the folks that were in business for a few, few, you know, a few years ago are no longer in business. But the nice thing about it is you've got new retailers that are starting to come in. And it's not just in grocery stores. It, it involves restaurants. It involves apparel. You know, it used to be where discounters were uh, kind of a bad word. And right. nowadays, it's, uh, it's, it's very, uh, you know, up and coming. Everybody wants to be a discounter. Dollar wants stores, to, for example. Very much so. You know, I, I often spend a lot of time talking with people about where they do their shopping. And it's not unusual for somebody to chat with me about the success that they've had at a recent Costco in terms of something they discovered and they found and how much they saved. You know, it's all about savings these days. And the retailers that are doing that are the retailers that are growing right now. Now, from what, from what I know, you're, you're an expert in the Chicago land area. What, what, what are the big names that are growing in this area right now? Well, I, I certainly wouldn't say that I'm an expert in Chicago, but Chicago has been my home uh, for the last 30 some years. And so I... You're familiar I with the market. How's very that? Very familiar with the market and certainly very familiar with uh, the, the, literally the retailers that, that are here. And so in terms of new players that are coming into the marketplace, if that's the question, uh, you know, for years this market was dominated by both Dominic's and Jewel on the grocery side of the business. And in particular, as they've stumbled a little bit over the last couple of years and the economy's played havoc with them. Suddenly you have Plum Market coming in from Michigan. You have Heinen's, which to me is one of the most successful independent grocers out of there. It's been in business some 70 some years. They've come into the marketplace also. So at least on the grocery store side, you're starting to see an influx of new regional players coming in. And then certainly on the national side, certainly the dollar stores are expanding by leaps and bounds. And so what, what do you see in the next 12 to 24 to 36 months that will be uh, perhaps a game changer or not in this market? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. You use the word game changer, and I use that same word in describing Mariano's. Mariano's, if you're not familiar with them, is a, it's a new grocery concept that's been started by Roundies out of Milwaukee. And they've come into this marketplace with uh, a lot of fanfare, a lot of excitement. And I think a lot of that is fueled by their, their president and CEO, a gentleman by the name of Bob Mariano. And Bob at one time was uh, uh, the chairman of, uh, of Dominic's, a company that I work for. And he really is a strong retailer. And he's definitely caught the market at a right time. It's been a perfect storm. He now has about seven stores in the marketplace. And everyone is talking about Mariano's in terms of the fact that there's a lot of grab and go, just in terms of their format, in terms of their pricing, they definitely are a game changer in this market. And I think it's forced the other grocers in particular to really up their game, to Got be it. able to compete effectively with them. Well, Mike, I want to thank you for joining us for this podcast, as well as joining us at the National Net Lease Investment Conference. Thank you very much. Jonathan, it's been a pleasure. Thank Take you. Take care.